Would you like to design your own flight plan using any online tool that you prefer and not have to rely on the limited functionality of the Microsoft Flight Sim one? Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Chris and I've recently discovered importing flight plans into Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now you've probably seen this before and apologies if I'm uh, preaching to the converted, but I've only just found out after seven, eight years of flying flight sims and I thought it was worth a five minute video just to uh, help anyone else that's looking to uh, do this. I'm going to take you through three simple steps that anyone can follow using free resources in order to achieve this yourself. Now, caveat this with it's probably for PC users only, so apologies, Xbox guys, you might be limited to what Microsoft already provides you in that sense. Before I get into it, don't forget to like this video if you think others might find this useful, as well as smudge that subscribe button to support the channel and stay up to date with any other useful, educational, entertaining flights and videos that I produce. So here we go. Step one, pick a plan. So you've got a few different options. You can use Sky Vector if that's your preference. You can use something like Simbrief, which is very detailed. It's like uh, for airline pilots, you can put in your departure, uh, your arrival, ICAO, and then it'll produce the route that you'd expect an airline to fly. So pretty much direct using the most fuel efficiency. You can select your airframe, lots of other details. This is really good if you want to have that full airline dispatch type experience. Uh, the other option you've got is Sky Vector. On Sky Vector, you can do the same thing, but it's kind of pictorial. You can drag and drop different waypoints. Uh, you can set those to GPS. You can pick towns, cities. If you want to do some general aviation and see some interesting sites, then this is a great way to go. Uh, third option here is uh, my website. I'll put on all the flight plans uh, for the videos that I've flown. So if you've seen my Mac Loop video, if you've seen my uh, Scotland navigation video, I'll put the flight plans in here so that you can download them ready to go. Here you can see I've loaded the Sidewinder route, which is a route through Death Valley. It's a clockwise low level training route uh, with China Lake Air Force Base in the middle and Edwards Air Force Base to the south. So that route is now loaded up. The problem with this flight plan resource is when you go to export, it doesn't give you uh, the option to download it in the correct file format. Okay, step number two, the required file format for a flight plan for Microsoft Flight Simulator is dot pln if you have anything else it's just not going to work so you've got a couple of different options you either use uh, the sim brief that i mentioned before this will output in any flight sim format that you need it has a whole list of them so it can download to microsoft flight sim and it'll give you the right format if you use sky vector unfortunately it doesn't do that you can export flight plans in different formats but it doesn't have the dot pln it does have dot fpl so you can download the Garmin.fpl file onto your computer and you can convert it using free software. This is a little nav map. Now I've uh, not seen this before, even though I've been flight simming for seven or eight years. I'm not sure how new it is, but it looks like it's um, a really detailed, complex tool with a lot of functionality, which I'll probably dive into now that I found it. But for today, we're just gonna focus on opening a flight plan and then exporting it again. So what you'll need to do is download this. It's free. I'll put a link in the description below. Once you've downloaded it, extract the folder. You can then double click on the little nav map.exe. Once it runs, it will ask you to uh, sync or to download information from your Microsoft Flight Sim folder, which you can either say yes or no if you want that extra functionality. It matters not. Once you've got it all loaded, you can then go to open flight plan. And you can navigate to wherever you've downloaded your .fpl file from SkyVector. Other file types that it can open is the .lnmpln, .pln, .flp, .fms, .fgfp, .fpl, and .fpl.bin. So those seem to be the file types it can open. So if you've got one of those, open it up. Once you've opened, it will then do its thing. It will show you that uh, flight plan on the screen. But straight away, just go to file and then you can export flight plan as MSFS 2020 PLN. And there you go. It will export, it will save it in the correct format and you can use that in Microsoft Flight Sim. Now, a little extra advice here is where you save it. So you can save it anywhere on your computer. And when you open Microsoft Flight Sim, you just have to navigate to the file. If you want to save yourself a few clicks after opening the Flight Sim, you can put it into the local state folder. This is the default um, folder that will open with Microsoft Flight Sim. And if you put the files in here, then you don't have to navigate anywhere else. Now you'll notice that I've got uh, two or three CG Aviator flight plans already loaded. 
one including the Sidewinder route. Um, and those will be available on my website uh, very soon. So check the link below for those. So that is step two complete. Now we move on to step three, which is opening the flight sim. With the magic of post editing, here we are in the flight sim without having to wait the five minutes for it to load. There's step number three to get it to work is go to world map. Press the space bar, load and save, select load. You'll notice that the folder opens is the one I mentioned, the local state folder. Select your flight plan that you wish to load and click open. You can now see if you zoom out, you've got the flight plan route and it should look similar to what your, or it should look the same as what you've planned already. You can then go ahead and change the parameters, the flight conditions, the aircraft type for your flight, and then hit the fly button. Here we are in the cockpit of the default F-18 loaded up at Edwards Air Force Base. We've loaded our flight plan, we can take a look at it on the screen. You can use the map one and the lower MFD, but I'll use the one on the right hand side. Menu, HSI, and then with the SCL 40, you can click that through to get a larger view. And if you hit the sequence one lower right, it will draw your route. Let's see if we get a 160 view. And you can see that route is drawn on the MFD, so it's loaded up. In order to use that in the F-18, you just have to sequence uh, zero being your departure airfield, and the last waypoint that was loaded will be your recovery airfield, and then you can sequence through your points, and you can see those are sequencing around the route, and the pointer is pointing in the correct direction. And it's giving you different uh, bearings and different distances as we go. If that is loaded up, you can then fly this aircraft uh, on autopilot, and it'll do rate one turns and fly the route as loaded. There we go, success. Now just to demonstrate, I've loaded up the PA44 by Carinado. It's got the GNS uh, loaded in it. And uh, with the same flight plan as before, already loaded in, I can zoom out and you can see that the flight plan as I had in the F-18 is also loaded onto the Garmin. And finally, it wouldn't be a complete tutorial unless I proved that it worked in the airlines as well. So here we are in the A320. Uh, all I've done is the developer mode, just go to uh, Windows and Aircraft Selector, and I've just cycled through different aircraft. There we go, just a little extra lesson there. You can see here the FMC is loaded up. I've gone to flight plan, is up and loaded. You can see you've got SV001, etc. And then all I've done is gone to nav, and I've cycled out on the range, and you can see the shape of the route is already in there. So importing the flight plan does work when you want to install it onto the FMC. Now clearly it probably doesn't have the extra information about speed and altitude, uh, but it's a means to an end. At least you've got uh, kind of the horizontal navigation portion. Now I did try this in the CRJ 700 and it didn't seem to import the FMC for some reason. So if you have the 700 and you've managed to successfully import um, custom flight plans, uh, please uh, chuck it in a comment below so that we can, uh, can all learn how to do that one. Hope this video is useful to you. Uh, please hit the like button if you think other people might appreciate this tutorial. And uh, please especially hit the subscribe button just to help support the channel. Until the next time, take care.